Hi, it's Chris Betcher here. I am going to, in this short video, explain to you how you use a USB stick to create a boot drive for Chrome OS Flex. And in case you've not heard of Chrome OS Flex, it's uh, an operating system built on Chrome OS that you can run on any aging hardware. So if you have some old Windows machines or maybe some old Mac machines, and they're really not cutting it these days, they're just a little bit too old to run those systems reliably, you can use this, what I'm about to show you here, to create a boot drive and convert those older machines into fast, speedy Chromebooks. So let's look at how you do that. So first of all, you will go to the Chrome Web Store. Now, if you uh, can't find that, just Google Chrome Web Store, and it'll usually be the first hit in the results. And search for the word recovery once you get there, and usually you'll find this thing called the Chromebook Recovery Utility. And this is what you'll need in order to create this boot drive. So install that. Uh, as you can see, I've already installed mine. Uh, but you go through that process and once it's installed you'll see it will appear up up here in the extensions list and you can see there it is right there i've actually pinned mine i've clicked the little pin next to it and it's gone blue and you can see that makes it now stay right here in the uh, list of extensions across the top of the screen so that's how you install it uh, to run it you simply open it up like so and it runs. I will point out that you don't need a Chromebook. I am on a Chromebook at the moment while I'm doing this, but you don't need to be on a Chromebook to make a Chromebook recovery stick. Uh, all you need to be is in Chrome, uh, the Chrome browser. As long as you're in the Chrome browser, you can use this extension. So what you'll need to do is to take a memory stick. Uh, this one uh, this needs to be at least eight gigabytes. This one is larger than eight gigabytes. And I will just pop it into the USB drive like so. All right and you can see there it's popped up so now the next step then is to just start running the utility so we'll say get started and what this utility lets you do is to create a recovery image for pretty much any chromebook so if you had a chromebook i don't know a hp or a dell or a lenovo or acer and for whatever reason you wanted to install or reinstall the operating system this is where you create the drive to do that reinstallation it is something you would rarely ever need to do on a Chromebook. It would have to be misbehaving pretty badly to require this, and it almost never happens, but this is what you use to do it. So let's say, for example, I had an Acer Chromebook. Uh, I'll just pick Acer as an example here. And then you go and pick the model number of that you've got. Let's say it was this 314. Then you can use this, and it will create a boot replacement operating system for that specific Chromebook. Okay? Now, we're not doing that. We are going to create a Flex drive so i'm going to scroll down here to where it says google chrome os flex and then this product is chrome os flex is only one choice and so i choose both of those options for chrome os flex and then hit continue then it will just ask me where is my media it's in my drive and there it is right there uh, is it correct yes it is uh, i say continue and now when i click this create now button what it will do is it will wipe whatever was on that drive. So make sure there's nothing important on that drive before you use it. Um, and it will start downloading from the internet the latest version of the Chrome OS Flex operating system. It will download to that. It'll take a couple of minutes. I won't make you wait. But the process from here is that it downloads entirely to your computer. It then unpacks. It installs itself, or writes itself onto the memory stick and you now have that memory stick and I've done one here already so you end up with something I've labeled mine so it's nice and pretty but um, and it's a good idea to label it too so you remember what it is uh, because uh, we tend to have lots of memory sticks lying around and sometimes we don't know what's on them um, so label it get that memory stick and then to install it onto your older machine so let's say <laughs> I've been to lots of schools and they almost always have a, a bunch of old Windows machines or some old Mac top, MacBooks lying around somewhere that are kind of too old to really be productive, but they don't want to throw them out. It's a good thing they don't throw them out because now they can take this memory stick, insert it into the USB port, boot the machine to this drive, and then it will step you through the process of installing Chrome OS on that device. Uh, you usually takes only a couple of minutes, probably, I don't know, four or five minutes to go through that entire process. And then that machine, when it reboots the next time, will be running Chrome OS and it will act like a speedy Chromebook. One little thing I do need to mention is that when you take those older machines, uh, you typically have to tell it which drive to boot from at startup. 
So on a Windows device, for example, it will usually look for what's called C drive in order to start, and that's where your operating system is kept. We don't want to start from C drive. We need to start from your USB stick, which often is D drive or E drive or something, something of that nature. Uh, so when you start that Windows machine, you normally need to press, again, it depends on the device, but it's usually something like F1. Press the F1 key as you start it, and it will bring up a screen that lets you set where it will boot from the next time. So you change it to the D drive or whatever it is for that machine, restart again and it would pick up this drive and start and uh, install the Chrome OS Flex operating system. So hopefully that gives you a little insight in how simple and easy that is. You can see this is still running in the background here. It has uh, another little while to go. Um, the actual writing of the operating system to the memory stick can take 20 minutes or so to make one. But uh, once it's made, you can reuse it over and over again to re-image as many machines as you like. Good luck. Hope you try it out. It's, uh, it's a really great thing to do to older hardware to get more, more life out of them.